What's some of the stupidest shit you ever got a whooping for? Going to the ice cream, uh... Oh, say what? Ice cream, man. She said she got her ass whooping for a hanger being on the floor. A hanger being on the floor? What happened? You got an ass whooping for saying you gonna call your daddy. Your that has happened in ninety percent of black households. Uh, hey, if look if, at the white people like what's the what I'm talking about? I'm about to say if we get an answer from this, this is gonna flip the whole world. Uh, he didn't left. <laughs> he knew this shit was coming. <laughs> and then I got up out of here. Up oh, there, abusive. Gotta go. Hello, ma'am. My name is Chico B. Uh, could you tell the crowd here, the 85 South Show, what is the stupidest thing you ever got your ass whooped for? I never got my ass whooped. You have never gotten your ass whooped? What the fuck do you stay on a ranch? She stay with horses. Oh my goodness. Damn, white lady. How come you be getting up with fun? That's one of these Hispanic people. We want to translate that ass whooping into English tonight. Let me see something. Let me see something. Find somebody see Spanish, DC. Why you ain't get up? Hey, Brian, sit down. You ain't got to go nowhere, man. I know you. You just got up. Your stomach got up before you. Sit down. Yeah, Brian, you can relax. You good. You good, Brian. Just chill, bro. This is going to be an easy night of work for you. Oh, yeah. We owe that. All these family right here, Brian. Wait a second. Uh-oh, nigga with the suit coming down. All right. Uh, is, is this your wife here? It's his wife. All right. Uh, what's the stupidest thing that you ever got your ass whooped for? I mean, I, the, the bar's closed. I'm going to get my ass whooped for that, probably. What? On the building? Oh, my. What the I tried to get this lady a drink. You tried to get your homeboy's wife a drink, and he going to beat your y'all into that freaky shit. All right. I know what y'all gonna do. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna man. get drunk and they'll be like, dude, put your dick in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, white people really did. Where the white people in that got their ass whooped? I'm talking about real white That's people. That's the white girl in the trailer park, white people. Where you at? What where the trailer park, white people? They ain't the trailer the park, house white people. On bricks. Where you at? Hold, Hold on. Right here with the titties out. She got a whooping before. Let me ask my man, Brian. Brian, you're a big boy. <laughs> you, you're a big boy. All right. Yep, he's a big one. He's a big one. You've been, in, you've been in the game for a while. Gotta go What's the gender. stupidest thing you've ever got your ass whooped for? I'm going to say when I was really young. like Your voice is like that, my name? <laughs> DC, what his voice sound like? <laughs> that nigga big ass. He's like, what? What, what? what you got your ass whooped for? Uh, well, I just want to let you know that I... <laughs> He's a friendly when guy. I was about 14, I was like, oh. partner, Brian. Wait, let Brian explain what he got his ass whooped for. So, uh, something like... Oh, my goodness. Uh, when I was about 14. Uh, Hello, Vlad. Let it, what it, we got to hit a wrist. So, I was at my grandpa's house, and I was like five. Got behind the wheel of his car. I was jumping up and down, put it into gear, and went through the neighbor's fence. Wow. Wait, you guys didn't hear it. He said he was five years old at his grandpa's house and he jumped in his grandpa's car and put the motherfucker in drive and drove his grandpa's car through a fence. You, a you real only nigga, got Brian. your ass whooped for that? Listen, every nigga in here would be dead, dead a motherfucker. If they drove their grandpa car, grandpa Cadillac through the fence? Hey, I Chico, didn't... couldn't you see your grandma just dragging you through the neighborhood? Lord, why I had to kill my grandson for fucking with my car, Lord. I didn't know you wanted him this soon, Jesus. You should have said something. <laughs> Damn, Brian. What kind of car was it, Brian? Some bullshit. What kind of car like a little station wagon? It was a, uh, oh, like a sedan. He said it was like a sedan. You know. She goes, that shit was so funny the way he said it, though. I don't even know if the people heard what he said. He said, yeah, when I was about five years old, I was over at my grandpa's house. <laughs> grandpa. What the fuck is grandpa? <laughs> no, it's grandpa's grandpa. It's grandpa. Yeah. But we got Papa Pops. Pops. We got Papa. Pop. OG. We OG. OG. I'm from the South. Yeah. We got granddad. I need, I, need, I need a good one, though. Granddad. I tell you, stupidest shit I ever got my ass whooped for, I got on the wrong bus when I was a young nigga. My, we was downtown D.C., right? And I was, my mother used to let me run around in front of her by myself. So we used to catch the 62 to get back uptown. So I got on the 64. 
And I looked around and my mama wasn't on the bus. I was like, oh, my mama ain't on here. This is like, oh man, this mama ain't on the bus. Nigga, my mama ran down and seen me getting off that bus. Nigga, she whooped my ass in front of a hex. Hex don't even exist no more. It was a department store. But I was getting my ass whooped so bad in front of the store that people were standing in the window like, damn, what'd he do? On the street. Bro, the worst ass happened. whooping I ever got, I was at my grandma's house. Anybody know about a trailer, they got the steps that's just like this, that's just attached uh -huh. to this trailer. So you know, like, that shit, the concrete on the steps started cracking and shit. So me and my cousin, like, man, we gonna help grandma get her steps together and get all these crack pieces off that bitch. We was too young to understand that without the crack pieces, it wasn't no goddamn steps. So when we got all the shit off, she came outside and saw the new steps was fucked up and she was like, get your ass in here. Man, she whooped us so goddamn long. I don't, I don't even know if I'm related to my grandma. That bitch whooped me like a stranger. <laughs> well, that was, that was, you know what? My stupidest ass whooping was when I went to the ice cream truck, nigga. Went to the ice, nigga, about 98 degrees, nigga. My mama said, don't go around that corner with the boy. Like, I heard that goddamn truck. I said, fuck that, I'm gonna go up the street. I go up the street, get me some ice cream, home. All you hear is, John John, your mama coming up the street. And you know my mama old, nigga. She had her cane, nigga. All you see with this. <laughs> nigga, I had my bite and my ice cream, nigga. So I hit, I come back down and you know I'm trying to tell her, Mama, I just got an ice cream. I just got a, don't you know she picked that cane up and put it tame. Wow, ice cream fell. Ah! She's like, get in the house. Nigga, I got my ass whooped for going to Let get an ice cream. Let me ask you this. Cream. You ever got your ass whooped while you was riding your bike? When your mama just pop up like a motherfucking ninja, you right, ha 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 ha, you up to speed. Your mama said, waiting on your ass to pay it back. <laughs> Didn't I tell your ass to get out here and get in the goddamn house? I remember my mama, she ain't really knocked me off ass. the bike, the bike kept rolling. She she ain't, even, she ain't even really whoop my ass, but you can't, when you young, you can't laugh at your parents if they fuck up, like, as a child. I can't. can't. No, I couldn't. My dad I remember my time. mama right through so <laughs> Hey, mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry still, that shit was hilarious. But my mama was in the freezer, right, or in the refrigerator, and the freezer door was open. <laughs> And she lifted up and hit her head on that freezer and damn near lift the whole refrigerator up, nigga. I was like, ah, ha, ha. Boy, she was like, oh, come here. <laughs> you think shit funny around right here, huh? I'm like, well, Ma, no, they ain't shit funny right here. I could have killed my goddamn self. Then you wouldn't have had no mama or no daddy, little big head ass little nigga. Nigga, my daddy had Alzheimer's, nigga. That shit is Some funny. shit to one the one do. would do. The real shit. Hey, nigga, my daddy had Alzheimer's, Chico. She be funny in here, bro. He used to add me, you wanna go get something to eat? I'm like, hell yeah. He be like, what you want? I be like, I want some McDonald's, dad. Nigga, we'll get in the car, nigga, ride. 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 Nigga, just ride. Nigga, this, nigga, that, nigga, that pay eight McDonald's, I ride. I'm like, daddy, uh, daddy. Uh, I wanna go to McDonald's. He like, oh shit, nigga, I forgot, nigga. That, this. Hey, that's the worst feeling in the world as a kid. When you gotta keep riding past that McDonald's, and you scared to ask, you done went past the third one. Mommy, could I get some McDonald's? what she say? We got McDonald's at the motherfucking house. I ain't buying no goddamn McDonald's. See, I got an ass whooping for that. Word. One time my mama told me, we got McDonald's at the house. I can get to the house. I wait about 20 minutes. Sitting on the couch, I walk back. Where your McDonald's at? Ooh, Ooh, you didn't do that? Yeah, she definitely whooped your ass. She ain't even make the burgers or nothing. Just ass whooping bed. Ass whooping bed. Uh, you know what? Hey, but I'm real shit out. though. One day we went to McDonald's and they forgot to give me some sweet and sour sauce and my grandma wouldn't go back. Ooh. She took she took it. I was like, grandma, they ain't give me no sauce, you gotta go back. She was like, I ain't going back, baby. You don't need that goddamn sweet and sour sauce. Hell, I know how to make sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> and this is where I fucked up at. I was so hurt, because you know you can't eat nuggets without no sauce. I said, Grandma, you a lie. 